What's good everybody? Dark and Wendy back at it again with another video. As you can clearly see, we back on my wiki and we are going to continue our trek through Generation 2, aka Kilo. Uh, last time we stopped on Xylitone, the musical Pokemon, aka Music Note with Bug Body and Meloetta hair out of his butt. So we're going to continue on with number 337, Tikai. It is known as a Tiki Pokemon, even though... In appearance, in its appearance, it is not really a tiki. It is more of a totem. I clearly remember having to do multiple drafts for this mod as well as its evolutions, like when I was in back in middle school, because I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the actual shapes of what's going to be on the body. Like I kept on looking up different figures and everything, trying to figure out what to do. Well, actually, back in the day, I didn't really look at references too much. I just went off of what was in my head. So this is what came out for, I guess, the quote-unquote best iteration of Tikai at the time. Um, right now, I'm still, like, I'm still not really fond of it. It just looks awkward and the colors aren't right, which is still a sign of the times. Uh, the eye reminds me of Sigilyph, which I don't like. Like, well, I like Sigilyph, like I like all all actual Pokemon, but I don't want my my Pokemon, since they're not related to Pokemon at all, This is these are all completely mine, nothing, there's no correlation to real Pokemon. I don't want mine to be too reminiscent of real Pokemon. So, yeah, for Tikai, I'm not really fond of it. Same with this evolution, because I, the execution didn't pan out as well as I wanted it to. For instance, here, Dosido, his name is Dosido, even though one, two, three, four eyes, as you can clearly see. But aside from that, it's supposed to be a totem, and yet it's more layered like a wedding cake or just a tiered cake in general. Like, if you ask the cake boss or Ace of Cakes to make a cake like this, they'd probably be doing it easy just because of how simple it is and how easy the cake, the layers are on top of each other. It's not really a totem where everything is stacked right right on top of each other and it's the same size or the same length. It just doesn't really fit well. And all I did with the black eyes add a spike on its eye, which makes it even more like Sigilyph, the top eye. So yeah. And with Psy, same deal. If you ask them, ask Ace of Cakes to make a cake like this, yeah. It'd be pretty easy for them since it's literally just a wedding cake. This is not a totem. So overall, this line, like this entire line is something that I'm not really too fond of right now. And I'll probably end up either, well, I probably won't scrap them since they've been around for too long. And they're reminiscent of when I was doing paper. So I'll probably revamp them at some point. I don't know when because right now I'm still focusing on doing new ones as well as revamping randomly. So, whenever it's their time, it'll be their time. Alright, so next up we got Kuslas, the vengeful Pokemon. Now, Kuslas is based on a specific yokai known as the Tiki Tiki. Um, it is a schoolgirl that was cut in half by a train, I believe. And it crawls around on its front half with a sickle or a knife or something like that. And it goes around trying to cut other people in half. Hence why I have the typical schoolgirl colors. It has the red, the white, and the blue on it usually. And it has the claws on the end of its arms. So, yeah. And a story about this one is Kuslas is one of the few mons that are in my decks that were that originally stemmed from a contest back on DeviantArt. For instance, let's see. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Look me up. Let's go on DeviantArt. Okay, we're here. Alright, go to gallery. And we can go to... Let's see. Scroll, 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 scroll. Contest entries. Okay. Now, here you can see that a good chunk of my designs are here. Well, you'll, you will see certain designs in the future in my deck since... I ended up reusing them. Well, not really reusing them, but repurposing them and actually making them a part of my generations, my regions, my projects in general. Like, for instance, you can see Mentril here. You see Metaros. You see Omnimon. Yeah, so 
Here we have, here's Kuzlas. It's original form, it's well not original form, but it's original art. Uh, it's really a sign of the signs really way back in like 2013, 2014 days. I, when I only used the line tool instead of an actual tablet. So you can clearly see the, where the issues lied. But yeah, this is how it originally looked. You can see that I retained the same, well, mostly the same colors, but for the most part, the, well, I maintained the shapes, but the colors shifted a bit. But this was not, this was not the only original uh, iteration of Kuzlas. Um, there is another one that was right before I did this revamp and the original repurposing is here. So as you can see, the original revamp, it maintained the original a lot more with the colors and everything. The shape the shape of the heads changed. There were no more curls and everything. But other than that, it was, but in that it was mostly just the same. And then compared to it now, you can tell the difference since like the eye the eye shift changed a bit once again the quote unquote hair crests or whatever you want to call them they they got they pretty much got nuked for the most part so now it just has this front crest and the ones on the side the the arm colors changed overall overall this one is a lot better and i'm really i'm really happy about it so let's just move on to urabe I couldn't really now the reason this one is called Urabe, this is another one that um happened on paper first before anything else. So when it came to this, I couldn't really think of a name for it that was that worked well for it. So I just went with Urabe, just simple just simple. Like the Japanese word for ghost and just added two B's because crab. That that was really much the origin of this name. Just wanted to share that. So, Urabe is a sand crab and a ghost crab combined. Um, it has the original, the original look of it. Well, oh well, they're the same. They're the same. Never mind. Uh, its evolution is the one that has the change actually. But yeah, overall, Urabe is okay. It's just a ghost crab and a sand crab combined. You can see that one claw is much more detailed than the other one mainly because of how some crabs have that one claw that's bigger or different and the other one that's smaller. I wanted to just show that in this design. Next up we have is Evolution Crustician. Um, I don't exactly remember what this one was originally called, but it was not called Crustician at first. I ended up changing that name later on. Um, but yeah, right now Crustician looks it looks a lot it looks a lot better than its original one however it's still going to need a revamp for the artwork just because of how old it is um this is from i want to say 2015 2016 or so maybe earlier but yeah you can see that it maintained the one claw being more detailed than the other one and they're kind of disjointed instead of being connected to the shell and everything now its original version, the original version of it was very much worse. It was essentially just Urabe, but bigger and inside of a random shell that came out of nowhere. And the claws are, yeah, the claws are wrong. This claw, this claw was originally on Urabe's left side and this claw was originally on his right side, but now they're flipped. So yeah. This definitely has problems, especially since, like, the it, all it did was add an extra whisker and not much else, like, an extra layer of, wait, hold on, look closely. Are these two different colors? Yeah, these are two, definitely two different colors, because this one is a lot brighter than this. What was I doing? Yeah, you can see that this one is a lot better. Uh, the only thing that I kept from the original was the was the mouth, the M-shaped mouth. Other than that, it's complete. It's mostly different. I kept the shell, just repurposed it and made it a bit better. But yeah, this one is miles better than the other one. 
Next up, we have Cubite. Um, the light cuisselage. This was a design that I'm pretty sure you saw a glimpse of it when I when I just showed you. Let's see, scroll down, and here they are. Right here, Cubite and Rayuki. These are the these are how they looked originally. You can see that it had the more half circle cube of ice instead of the actual block of ice. Let's go to let's go to the files and yeah, the the older one is a lot. The older one is pretty much the same. Like they're they're practically the same. The only difference is uh the better arts the better art quality the colors aren't as dull i'll say the eyes are actually the eyes are actually blacker like actual pokemon the ice cube is better and the line the line art is more clearly a blue and it's not just actual an actual just hair there it's a uh, actually a part of his body like here it was just a swirly hair thing and but otherwise the designs are remote are all practically the same except for the ice cube changing moving on to its evolution reyuki now with reyuki it was a it's kind of hard to talk about well not really hard to talk about but looking back on it it's kind of it's kind of a weird design that i made because like i didn't know what i was doing honestly for this contest i know i just wanted to do hold on what the what the what was the contest requirements? The uh, what was the contest? Oh well, no, never mind. That just leads to another page. But yeah, it was just like a contest for something else. Um, and like I said, these would be in my Kilo region, gen like 2013. So yeah, these designs are way way old. So yeah. Ryuki originally had like a satellite kind of thing going on with his tail, but I ended up adapting it to be a ray gun. So, yeah, like a literal ice beam. <laughs> but yeah, okay, this is the only one that's there. Only one that's there. Okay. Well, but yeah, the Cubite and Ryuki pretty much just stemmed from a, being contest entries, and I decided to uh, implement them in the region early on. So that's that's pretty much their story. Next up, the Macrosol. Now the Macrosol has a completely different story. So back in middle school, uh, I had a friend that wanted to do like he saw what I was doing, and he wanted to make some of his own stuff too. So he made his own Pokemon, which uh, ended up being the Macrosol. So he gave it to me, but never did. And he was never going to do anything with it. He just drew it. And I ended up taking it, and he never asked for it back or anything, I don't think. So, yeah, this was a long time ago. Uh, so, you can say that the Microsoft is kind of one of those mods where I either, quote-unquote, had help or that I stole from a, from kind of a childhood friend. <laughs> um, he wasn't going to do anything with it when, anyway. I don't think he cares. So, yeah, I ended up repurposing it, of course. Like, the design was mostly like this already. Yeah, but it also had like some kind of orbs floating around it and stuff like that. So I got rid of the orbs. I cleaned it up and everything. Um, it still looks kind of awkward right now, so I may end up uh, redoing it again. Probably, maybe not though, since it still look. While it has some issues, probably I could probably still work with it. So yeah, that's the story of the Macrosols. Kind of stemmed from me stealing it from a childhood friend. Who wasn't really too interested anyway i don't feel but yeah <laughs> all right next up we have tolum the sweet pokemon now tolum is essentially based off of the dance of the sugar plum fairy same with his evolution sweetie um so in this case it's essentially just a plum like a sugar a literal sugar plum and that's that's all there is to it like all the generations are pretty much the same since they're all just me trying to figure out the transparency and sweet no 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 not the hidden abilities next up we have sweetie 
Now, Sweetie recently had a revamp, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same as Tolum. It's just Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, but real. The sugar around his neck and his tail, it just has the leafy hair and everything. You can tell the original. So, the quote unquote original one was just like this. And comparing it to these two, they're. The design is remotely the same. The only difference is instead of the sugar being completely cloudy, cloud-like and poofy, I made it more granular sort of. Like it's still kind of poofy, but I made it more feel more granular with the shading and everything. And you can you can see still see some of the part the uh sugar particles floating around since I didn't just make more small dots around it. But yeah, they're harder to see, but they're still there. All right, next up we have Muflano, one of my favorite ones that I recently revamped, especially since this was one of my first designs that I ever posted in the start of my project. It was like, it's part of the quote unquote prototype era of my project. So let's see, going back, go back to my gallery. Let's go, and we're just gonna keep my gallery open just in case, because I know I'm gonna be coming with steaming back a lot. Let's go down and 98. Let's go back all the way to the first page. Yep, 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 yep. And where is he? Right here, Muflano. This is original Muflano. More just a oh, generic dino body, spike on leg, no evident of spike over here, spike on head and mace spiky tail. So this was the original one. And there was another one that comes from 2014 or 15, I think. Yeah, this one was the second version. This was the first version, and this is the and this is the current version. So the original Muflano, I just wanted to make a dinosaur or something. I don't know what I was trying to do. All I don't know is I wanted to do like something with a spiky tail and stuff like that. So. Yeah, this is this was the end result. Like you can tell the amateur by the amateur nature of the design and everything. Like a lot of the stuff was just you can tell just how raw it was, I guess, cuz this is when I scanned designs in with my printer and everything before I had a tablet and everything like that. So yeah. This was the original. This was the second iteration which took more of an actual shape uh the head shape is awkward because that just stemmed from me wanting to be uh different with the head shape for a change since and this was a this is a common criticism i often get by people that i use the same head shape body shape sh just shapes in general for certain minds but so this was me trying to kind of be different and just do break it i guess now compared to the original is automatically better because it has more to it is it is not just all plain i actually did added something to the back and made the tail more not elaborate but better than whatever this was sort of even though it lost a spike i think one two three four five six one two three four five six oh never mind didn't lose anything well but yeah and the boy the perfect boy I really, really like how I revamped this because like the colors are better. Just the way I did the tail is better. And this one is the one with the extra spike. Just everything about this feels better. It feels more legit. It just feels amazing to me. I really like it. So yeah. That's my flano, one of my faves. Now is evolution another fave, Masernio, because just look at this, just look at this Hulk. Look at it. Look at it. Admire him. Because he looked way worse than he currently does. This, I I love the I love the way I did this one. But then we go down. What in the flying fuck was I doing 
here. What is this? Like you, like you can tell that some things changed, like some things were kept, but what is this? Like, why did I have the spikes lying down here? Like, this is more, this is just straight. Like, the lines are straight. It's just, it doesn't have any flow to it. Like, what is this, what is this arm doing? It's just, the legs are so awkward. The, what did I, what happened to the tail? Like, the tail just looks weird. The tail just looks completely weird. The spikes aren't even even. Like, why is this spike going, why is this spike facing this way while the other ones are going back a little bit? It's just, then the mouth just, it just has no, uh, this isn't even curved correctly. It's uneven through this line and this line. The arms aren't, like, this arm is just more, more, has more fat to it. And this one is just skinny. There was a, there's a lot of problems here. And luckily I fixed them with this. The eyes are better. The spikes are much more even. The, the fingers and hands of the arms are a lot better. The spikes are no longer all the way down here as well as it being curved. The spikes are now around this body. The legs are a lot better. The tail is a hundred times, a thousand times better. Everything about this design is much better than this heap of garbage. Because this one, not only that, this one looks a lot more natural than this. Ugh. Okay, let's just, let's just move on. So just, just know that Maflano and Masernia are some of my favorites. Alright, Kibera. Now Kibera, the persistent Pokemon, is based on Chimera of course. But, however, you can't really see it right now. Uh, let's see. It's, you got the lion, the lion aspect, the snake aspect, but there's no real goat aspect aside from the horns. So, yeah, just take that as you will. This this is a lot better than how it used to be. As as per the par for the course for my early work. Let's see, we got the two other iterations here. As well as the current one. Now, if you were to ask, if you were to ask or tell me what type this is, you probably wouldn't even be able to guess. Like just right now, what would you say it would be? Maybe normal. Maybe I don't know. Dragon. Some of y'all. Some of y'all are weird like that and think that. Would think that. No, this is a dark type. Slash poison type. This is a dark and poison type. It's supposed to be a dark and poison type. So yeah. Um, no, just these two iterations. Just no. Like the first iteration, it's uh, it has the same problems that I had with my other designs. Same kind of head shape. The body is just a bean, and the the limbs are very thick. So. And the same problem comes here, even though it's, but now it's even worse since the body, the bottom part of the body isn't even like really rounded. It's it's curved sort of, but it's kind of bad. And you can tell, you can easily tell that I copy and pasted the damn paws down here. It's it's just all bad. Like the horn is wrong too. It's supposed it could be over the other side, but the difference. Well, you can see the one difference is that I got rid of the whole hood because it's it's supposed to be like the first stage so I just gave it this tent the I got rid of the cobra hood so and now we got this one which is a lot better you can actually see that it, it could be a dark and poison type the snake is a lot better there's more details and compared to this it just had nothing and this same same deal is the same thing but yeah this one is a lot better. The horns are more prominent. Well, not prominent, but larger. The eye is better. Everything about it is just 100 times better. Next up, we have is Evolution Maravich. Now, Maravich is one of the is the first one in this line that I revamped. So, yeah, I really you can tell that because I really really disliked how the other versions the other version came out. Like, 
Like, there was a version bef- even before this that was even worse. But I can't find it. So, we're going to deal with this. Like, this is just so awkward. Like, the leg is weird. What the? Why is it so out like this? Why is the leg so out like this? This, the snake, the snake's tail looks stiff as a, like, looks stiff as a board. Again, the horns look awkward like I just copy and pasted it. I didn't, no, I didn't even copy and paste, really. Since you can tell by the way the base of the horns are. Just the the head shape in general, like this ear, you can tell that this ear, these ears are copy and pasted from each other. Like this ear should be like a bit more in, but it's not. It's just exactly the same. And overall, it just looks, ugh. But the new version, now this, this is good. This is still not a dark poison type. This is like a normal dragon or some shit. I don't know. This is not a this is not a dark poison type. You may be able to see it, but I don't like it. Hell, maybe even a fire type. I don't know. But that's not it. This is it. Yes. This is great. You can I actually tried to implement more goat features here. Like like I said, this was the first one in this in this line that I revamped. So I tried to lean more into more of the details. So it has the goat hind legs now, and it has the extra like detailed joints in the front legs. The tail is a lot better. Has the spikes around it again. It actually has a second head, and overall, just the head shape and the shapes in general I used here are leagues better than my my older work. I like it. I love it. Let's just move on. Next, we have Chimeror. Now, uh, yeah, you can you can immediately see the problem here. I haven't revamped it yet, but just know that it'll look badass. But right now, just as is, yikes! Like it's a lot better than the art. Is this artwork's kind of a lot better than the older one's artwork? Except for minus the tail. The tail can go fuck itself. The tail is just awful. But yeah, the art itself here isn't that bad. It's the tail, like I said, the tail can go fucking sell, but it's all right for the most part. I don't think there's another version of this unless I kept the older version. Oh, oh no, oh no, it is here. It is here. Hold on. It is here. Oh, I did not. I. So what happened to the? Hold on. So what happened to? What happened to uh Maravage's older form? Oh no. Oh. Well, yeah, um, yeah, this is a Chimera Wars original. It's lying down, you can tell. This is when I had no sense of anatomy. I probably still don't have that great sense of anatomy. But, yeah, um, oof. Like, there's a lot of differences here. For one, it's standing now. Um, but other than that, it has the same exact problems again. Head shape, bean body. What the hell are these legs doing? The tail is still just stiff and uninteresting, really. Like, what What was I doing? Why is the head shape like this? Why is the line like that? The, the limbs are so, like, wobbly, wiggly, adventure time. It's just, and how I did, how I did fur and hair back in the day was just so whack. Like, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just, it's more rounded. Like, it's not sharp. It's not, like, crisp. It's just, bleh. And, and wow, the pupils are triangular. Wow, so original. And the horns are still white. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still, um, this, overall, it's a, it's still a yikes overall. Just because, uh. Compared to the other designs, compared to the other revamps for the line, one boop boop, and then you have this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to revamp. I'm definitely have to revamp that soon. Yeah, I may revamp it after I get done with this video. Who knows? You never know. All right. Next up, we have Kill Belgo, another design that came from paper. Um, you can tell that it's a common trend. But yeah, Cabelgo is a generic dragon. It's I said I was gonna keep my gallery open, but I didn't. But let's see, let's go. Because Kibelgo is another one that stayed 
that came from my prototype slash beta versions. Um, as you can see, this was original Kibelgo. Now the name, I don't know where it came from. It just happened. Um, I just liked how it sounded. So this is Kibelgo. It was normal dragon back then. But now, since fairy type was introduced and everything in 6th gen, now it's normal, dra now it's dragon fairy. It's a lot better now, but I still need to revamp it since, like, I think, I'm pretty sure I revamped Dragano first, but I didn't touch Cabelgo. So, hold on, let's see, let's see if there's an original version of it, since I'm pretty sure I, this wasn't the only one. Okay, this, oh, I guess this was the only one. Alright, but, yeah. Uh, overall, Cabelgo is okay. It's pretty much like a typical dragon, just generic dragon. Not really much to say about it. Dragano, on the other hand, Dr yeah, I revamped Dragano first. Hold on, let me see when. Hold on, let me see. Let me check when, cause this one look, cause Dragano looks a lot better than it used to. Like, like again, Cabelgo, and I closed it again. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dragano was revamped in 2020. Is it all right? It's all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so let's 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 go ahead and walk through this compare these comparisons. We have this. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this? Someone. What was I doing? Like this looks so bad. Bro, this looks so bad. Like th the underbelly doesn't even go all the way up. Uh, again, we got the we got the Adventure Time wiggly wavy arms. The 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 back wings are so weak. The the overall the bot get this out of my face. I can't. Okay, this is much better. Had more detail into it. I'm happy. I'm good with this. Like overall, the designs overall the designs are the same. The only difference is that it was like it looked like it was sitting down, just pouting. Now it looks now it looks uh, has more personality to it. Rolling his eyes, everything going on. It's it's whole thing is just being apathetic and not giving the damn. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm much happier with this. So but with that, I think I'm well. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, we went through a good chunk. Well, not really a good chunk, but we'll, we'll continue on as as time goes on. Uh, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed my ranting and slowly losing my mind as I go through and walk down memory lane to some of these. It's really, it really opens my eyes and makes me cringe so hard. <laughs> Because some of the, I don't remember, like, I remember making it, but looking at them now as I've improved over the years, it's just awful. <laughs> they just look awful. I can see what people were talking about now. I understand. I am so sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thanks thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Dark and Windy, out.